The COVID-19 pandemic hit a lot of vulnerable people very hard. It was made even more difficult for one couple in Bishopston, who were locked out of Facebook without reason and were unable to keep up with vital local news and support projects which could have helped them during their time in lockdown. John and I have been shielding now since March the 18th, 2020, and unfortunately my husband has got a terminal illness. Facebook claimed to have detected illegal activity on Linda's account and suspended her from the platform indefinitely. Linda couldn't contest her suspension and claims that it made life very difficult for her and John who have relied on Facebook for vital information regarding life in their community. Things happen in the village. We're a small rural village. Things happen and I don't know about it. I might find out weeks and weeks later. We've had a friend of mine who went missing. I knew nothing about it and the consequences were dire. Why can Facebook just turn it off? It literally just went off. For eight months now I've had a message saying they're checking me, they're checking me. And then I've looked for a number to ask them. I can't, I can't track them, I can't get in touch with them. Nobody is accountable. What's happening? It's as if we've been treated as criminals. John and Linda, with the support of their friend and local minister, Rev Andy, are calling for more accountability from those who run Facebook, which has become an essential tool for rural areas. To do this, they have launched their campaign to forget Facebook on the 4th. I hope you will join me in boycotting Facebook. Let's forget Facebook on the 4th of every month. Forget Facebook on the 4th until this company commits to having a regulator, commits to proper customer service, commits to standards of accountability, which means people like Linda and John, who are vulnerable and in need, will not be cut off for eight months without explanation, without recourse, and without someone just to speak to on the phone and reconnect this vital utility for them. Let's forget Facebook on the fourth of every month until the government and Facebook act together to provide justice for John and Linda. So let's forget Facebook on the 4th and find other, better ways of connecting with the most vulnerable in our communities.